Welcome to the series. Here we perform hands-on exercises with Google Gemini Pro and Vision with Python. In this video, we will show how to implement the LangChain library with Gemini Pro Vision API. Here we follow these steps. We set up LangChain with Gemini Pro Vision first, then load up images with Python from locally and via the URL, and then we load human message prompts from LangChain and start chatting with our loaded images. That said, let's get started. So let's start with the installation of necessary libraries. All right, so Google Generative AI just came in. This is the version number. And here is the LangChain Google Gen AI. Here is the version number. And lastly, LangChain itself. And here's the version number. All right, so we're ready to go. All right, now let's set up the API keys. Okay, so this is something I am not gonna be using for this video, but I'm configuring it anyway, just to see using this loop, which models we have access to via this API key. And here is a display helper function that we created in the last video. So if you wanna know the details, please look into that. This is gonna help make our outputs look pretty. So let me run that. And there you go. These are going to be the models we have access to. And in this video, we're going to be using Gemini Provision. With that done, let's continue with loading our image. All right. So we're going to be using the PIL or Python image library here. I'm bringing in the image class. I'm bringing in the uh, image object here. I'm bringing in the image class and invoking it here to load up this image, which I uploaded right here. So let's see what that image is about. All right, so now this image is in this variable called ing. And next, we're gonna use this image with Gemini Pro and LangChain. Right here, we're bringing in the necessary classes and libraries, and we're preparing our LLM object using chat Google Generative AI from LangChain and passing the model argument, in this case, Gemini ProVision. And here's our prompt. What do you see in the image? This is what we're asking the AI about the image. And here we are preparing our messages using this human message class brought in from Langchain Core dot messages. And in here we are assigning our content argument with a list value and within, within this list, we describe our prompt and the image using type text and this text value would be prompt this guy right here and then the next type would be the image url and the image url would be the image object that we created right here basically it can take both image url or an object and then we just get a response by invoking our llm using llm.invoke and send the message list and here I'm printing the value, I mean, response.content with a custom display function that we showed above. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and run it. Boom, there you go. The image contains a group of superheroes from Marvel, Climactic Universe, blah, 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 and name all the heroes and what they're doing, just as this image describes. So next, we're gonna go ahead and try to ask relevant questions in a chatting fashion right here. All right, so basically what I'm doing here is we just turning this into a method, ask Gemini. It's almost exactly the same stuff uh, that we used before. And this time we are bringing the prompt, the image, and the model as arguments. In fact, uh, we're setting this model to Gemini provision, but leaving that option in case you want to change the model to something else, you will be able to. If not, it's going to take that as a default. But other than that, we're going to have prompt and image coming in when we invoke the function. And this way, we can keep asking it the question back to back. I usually create a loop through it. Uh, as you, If you've been following my other uh, videos, you probably saw it. But in this case, I just wanted to keep it simple. I'm just going to keep bringing in new questions like this. 
and the rest is pretty much the same. We are bring, invoking the same class here, cat Google generative AI and passing model here and human messages from Langchain that we brought in before. And here, the prompt that we get, we pass it here and the image, we pass it as a image URL. And we are still working on the same image object as this one. That being done, let's ask it the first question. What is Iron Man doing? Running it. All right, so Iron Man is a superhero, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's almost writing a book for me. And I have to mention here, it, it is a bad AI. Uh, it hallucinates like crazy. It hardly ever answers correctly. And it, uh, and it occasionally fails. And let me show you why it is awful even more. Let me bring in the next question. Okay, so I'm asking it, do you see a black man? Right, a simple question. And basically I'm targeting to Samuel L. Jackson here to see if it, it recognizes it but it really did something weird last time. So let me see what it does this time. Boom, there you go. And it crashes because it thinks uh, harassment is medium and uh, hate speech is high just because I call somebody a black man. I mean, what kind of a stupid AI is this? I mean, if, even if you ask Samuel L. Jackson himself, he's gonna say he's a black man. What is he? Is it a green man or a yellow man? I mean, what the hell? But it fails. My goodness, man. Google Gemini sucks. Anyway, so let's go on asking it some other question. Okay, so let's ask it, how many heroes do you see? All right, I see six heroes. Great. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, pretty good. Not bad. Let's do the next question. Do you see Black Widow? Yes, I see Black Widow. Is a character, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's great. All of these are loading the local image, this guy, you know, as an image object. But we're going to experiment with the image URL just one last time. All right, this time I am actually loading my image using a URL. And I'm doing that using IPython library and the requests, which we will use to import the image and display. And once we do, we're just gonna call in our response and call in the same method as Gemini and uh, give it our prompt. And this time, instead of, a, instead of an image object, we're gonna give it a image URL. Load up the image. All right, look at that. The cat's nose. So now let's ask, describe the image in detail and sending it the URL. Run. Oh, there you go. The image shows a close up of a cat's nose, blah, 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 which is accurate. Great. And with that, I conclude this video.